first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Weglars. Good morning. It is a bit of a shock to the system in terms of how cold it is this morning. Unseasonably cold and that's going to continue throughout the afternoon hours. Let's show you a live look from Linden State College. Hey, we've got sunrise there. Uh, some pretty nice colors to start off the morning. High pressure building in. So you notice that you're going to have a lot of beautiful colors to the sunrise this morning as the clouds clear out. Temperatures are in the mid teens, but it feels like two. So it is just bitter this morning. And we'll see that continue as the afternoon hours progress here. Notice that temperatures essentially plateau in the mid teens and then attempt to rise closer to 20 as the afternoon goes on. And there are a few stray snow showers, maybe a squall or two to get through across the Northeast Kingdom before all is said and done this afternoon. Here's that push of clouds behind the Arctic front sinking down from Canada. You notice that the north country of New York, North Adirondack, seeing this cloud cover and that'll undulate south and east as the morning goes on. So there are a few clouds that begin to work their way through and a few snow squalls as the day goes on. I think they'll range between, we'll call it 10 o'clock this morning and noon to 1 o'clock this afternoon. The squalls push through and then clouds begin to fizzle out as the afternoon hours progress. So highs today will range from the mid and upper teens and the low to mid 20s in many spots. 23 in Burlington, 19 in St. Jay, 22 in Plattsburgh, and a bit cooler up in Newport. They'll be sitting at 14 degrees. Now for tonight, Temperatures will plummet rapidly to the single digits for many spots. It wouldn't surprise me if a few locations in some of the colder hollows actually go below zero, mainly clear and chilly. And I think it'll be a very nice night, albeit it'll be a lot more chilly than anything else. So future cast for tonight, taking you through, showing you again, mainly clear skies, a couple of clouds to start off the morning in the Northeast Kingdom, but many spots are clear. And this trend continues all the way through the day on Sunday last all the way Sunday night and Monday morning heading out to work or school. I think you're doing pretty well as well. Temperatures again, they're chilly, but we have a lot of sunshine to be had and that'll be the trade off. We stay cold, but we have a lot of sunshine to really get us through the next couple of days here. So the fourth nor'easter, we still have two possible tracks here. We're watching most models are favoring the second track, but still the one that a few still are suggesting is that this storm comes close enough into the Gulf of Maine to bring us a rain and a snow mix with gusty winds. Now many models, particularly this morning, have continued to carry this nor'easter well towards the east. And as a result, I think that we'll stay cloudy. It'll be breezy at the coast, but high pressure builds in and sort of deflects this farther towards the east, which will keep us clear, but cold coming up in the mid range of our forecast here. So your five day forecast plus two. Spring is technically starting on Tuesday. It won't feel like spring. Highs will only be in the mid 20s. And then by Thursday, I think after the storm system moves far enough out of the region, we see more sunshine. Highs will be in the mid 30s and then closer to 40 by Friday with more clouds than sun. But the trend is we stay near seasonable, but there's hints of us getting back to below average. That's